In Soviet Russia, vacuum fluorescent display tube light up you. Check this out. Da -da 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 focus you bastard. So that's pretty exciting. I've got a couple of um, 68,000 CPUs that we will eventually do something fun with. Uh, the reason I have them is because I uh, I got these uh, 8877 floppy controller chips um, for the Z80 Funtime project. I will try to make a floppy drive controller board for our fun at some point. And, um, oh shush, meter. Uh, and uh, I could, I could the only I had to add a few more things to get uh, free shipping, so I added those 68k CPUs in there. So that'll be fun here at some point. So yeah, also you you guys are probably going to whip my ass for doing this. The PS2 model 25 286 riser. I've decided to try to redesign that with a CPLD to save space uh, because if I can do it that way, then I think there will be room for an, a third ISA slot uh, upside down on the back of the card, um, which will make it much more flexible. That's going to come at some point. I apologize for being wishy-washy about that. But um, soon, soon we will work on that. So yeah, um, Nixie tubes are cool, but uh, to my knowledge there aren't any Nixie tubes that can display um, hexadecimal values. Um, so uh, I decided to get these uh, seven segment display um, vacuum fluorescent display tubes. These are like Soviet era IV6 tubes. And um, it was much cheaper per unit to buy a um, hundred of them than the six that I needed. So um, I've got plenty of uh, IV6 VFDs now. Um, if uh, if you guys need any, <clears throat> actually, uh, the the whole point of this is to make a cool um, hexadecimal front panel for uh, the Z80 Funtime shit. Uh, so I don't know if uh, if that works out. Maybe um, maybe I'll use the rest of them to make some kind of kit uh, that people can get and plug into their um, RC2014 boards to get a like hexadecimal front panel with vacuum tubes on it, which would be anachronistic, but still cool as shit, right? These operate uh, at fairly low voltages compared to um, a lot of tubes, but uh, oh, come here. <laughs> Those wires are pretty fragile, though. This one, this one may have given up the ghost. So, um, the uh, the heater voltage on these is one volt, so um, you can string them together. You can string the heaters together in series, though, um, and power them off of um, higher voltages. So uh, five volts. Um, you could you could power uh, five heaters strung together in series off of five volts, and I can probably get away with powering six heaters off of five volts. Um, so that'll cover the. Um, heater voltage supply in a, in a board like that, but um, the uh, the rest of it uh, requires 24 volts, so let's, uh, you know, we've got one volt there for the heater. Let's hook that up. We'll uh, hook this over here. And, uh, this pin, that's pin 7, and pin 8 has to be grounded. That's the other uh, end of the heater. Alright, and uh, then this pin, this next pin, pin 9, is the grid, so we have to uh, put a positive, um, positive 24 volts on it, and then if we also apply positive 24 volts to any other um, of these wires on the bottom, it'll light up uh, that segment, right? So I can uh, squeeze them all together there and light them all up. Yay! Pretty, right? 
That's not coming through on the camera very well, is it? Anyhow. So, uh, unfortunately, the heaters in these uh, VFDs don't glow, but um, if I apply about 2 volts to uh, a yellow LED <laughs> in the bottom of it, um, that makes a uh, nice little nice little glow. I wonder how blue one would look. It might look like a like a like a neon tube kind of, you know, those old uh, neon uh, rectifier tubes that had blue in the bottom, and that that might um, that might look better with the uh, with the blue digits on the tube anyway. I th I think that could make a really cool looking hexadecimal bus monitor, don't you? <laughs> yes, even with the uh, the fake filament glow down there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks for joining me.